When do police use force? How do they use it? And who do they use it against? Those are the questions Dallas's police chief is asking tonight. If you didn't know, today the department launching a brand new tool with the goal of answering those very questions. Andrea Lucia telling us what it found may surprise you. He has a gun in his right hand. Police shootings in Dallas have dropped significantly over the last 10 years from 24 in 2012 to eight last year. More common are the less lethal forms of police force used every day. Chief Eddie Garcia wanted to better understand it all. It's the most polarizing issue in American law enforcement uh, is the use of force. The department hired a Seattle-based consultant group, Police Strategies, to analyze when, where, how, and why Dallas officers use force and to make the information accessible to the public in a new online site launched today. The data shows, for example, officers are more likely to use force on weekends between the hours of 1 and 3 a.m. And in three quarters of cases, it shows police haven't used a weapon but physical force. You know, obviously one of the biggest things that we want to see is the racial disparity. Uh, the racial disparity as to when my officers decide to use force, you know, uh, does, does, is there evidence that race plays a factor in that? While blacks and Hispanics are arrested at disproportionately higher rates, the data released today shows when they are arrested here in Dallas, they are less likely than someone who is white to have police force used against them. Dallas Police Community Oversight Board Chair Jesu Robo and Bacare recognizes that goes against the perception many people have. Does that mean that if someone looks at their dashboard, it's going to change their perception of policing? No, but I think that is an additional tool that can be used in order to establish trust. For Chief Garcia, transparency is a starting point. In Dallas, Andre Lucia, CBS News, Texas.